Welcome, I'm from is a TCL 10 SE and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So let's quickly progress through the setup. Now at this moment I'm just going to show you that it's locked uh, in, the, in the process that I'm doing. So you want to connect to Wi-Fi and basically stay on the first page of the setup. So once you connect just back out. And as you can see we have here the verification via pattern or using the Google account. So now that I actually managed to show both of them, go back out to the first page like I said before. And what you want to do here is select any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So Greek, Russian and majority of the languages right over here uh, will just work fine. Uh, now which language you choose is completely up to you. It's completely, uh, it has basically no meaning. Uh, it just needs to have a different keyboard. As you can see, I selected Greek right now. So again, we're going to progress through this and get back to the uh, screen where we need to verify our account. So again, I'm going to skip most of this as I did uh, while the device was in English. And let's use Google account. And once it actually loads, there we go, you want to tap on a field and this will bring up a keyboard and in here we now have the globe icon. So what you want to do now is hold the globe icon. It will bring up the two languages or two keyboards that we have right now uh, option to choose from. So we have the Greek and the QWERTY. And what you want to do is number one, tap on the QWERTY, then hold it again and then go to language select right here on the text below QWERTY, then add keyboard which is the blue button right there and from here select any option that doesn't have a arrow as you can see there's a couple that have an arrow just select the ones that do not so first one and you can tap on add which is again the blue button and once you do you can see now we have three different languages so from here we're gonna go back to the first page again tap on the language and change it back to our own language which for me it's gonna be English and again, let's go to the setup, back to the verification screen. And again, tap on the field, hold the globe icon and go to language settings. And again, add a keyboard actually wait my better yeah add a keyboard and from here uh, find a keyboard with an arrow so as you can see there is Albanian select it then tap on the three dots and go to help and feedback and in the help and feedback uh, right up the top for the search one you want to type in Morse code or MO uh, it seems to always bring up the uh, suggested as use Morse code so choose that tap on a button to play it and once it loads, as it did right now, tap on the three buttons or three dots and go to watch later, which in turn will open up web browser. There we go. So you want to tap on accept and continue and no thanks, we don't want to sync. And then at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset that info website. Add info, like so. Tap on the three bars on top and go to download category. And in the download search field, uh, you're looking for Android 7.1.2. And search. Scroll down, and as you can see, you will have a download for it. A bypass, uh, FRP bypass Android 7.1.2 and 10. So you want to download it. Scroll down and hold the download button and open up an incognito. This will resolve any kind of problem with the file not downloading fully. Uh, so tap on OK. Wait for it to download. There we go. Once it has, tap on Open. Go to Settings and check the Allow from this source. Go back and install. And once it's installed, choose Open continue and okay now we can back out 
and uh, back out once more and now in the search bar you want to search for settings like so and again there should only be one application android settings apk download scroll down again hold the download link and open in the cognito tab confirm it and open it up once it's downloaded install and again open it up and this will in turn bring us to settings so before i actually progress any further uh, i will mention that if you tap on the back button uh, you will basically be taken back uh, to the web browser and later on if you back out uh, for instance too far and well, find yourself in the uh, in your web browser you will need to re-download the settings reinstall it and then open it up again and continue from where you left off that is assuming you went too back uh, too far back uh, so there is basically no other way to get back into the settings apart from installing it again okay so once you're in the settings we're gonna start off by going into the apps and then view all 54 three dots and show system and scroll down to G there we go there we go G and we're looking for Google oh, there we go um, so we're looking for Google Play services right over here tap on it disable disable app go back and then Google Play Store disable disable app and once you disable two of them as you can see based on these two markings right here you can go back to the main settings page so make sure you don't go too far back and once you have reached the settings page right here go to accounts tap on add account and choose google and in here you can log in with your google account now if you don't have one you can always create it Although I would advise you to do it on your computer, it will just be easier. I'm not exactly even sure if you can do it through here, even though there is a button. Uh, but you can either create an account specifically for this purpose or use an existing one. It's completely up to you. Once you have it, log in with it. So I'm going to use mine. Let's go to next. And I'm going to put in a password for it. So let me do that off the screen. Tap on next and there we go. So you can see it logged in. Let's tap on agree. And once it's added, you want to go back to the settings page, go back to the apps. Again, C54, uh, view system or show system and scroll down to G. And you want to re-enable the two apps that we have disabled. So Play Store, enable, go back and Play Services, enable and once those two are enabled, hold the power key and select restart. And now the device is back on, let's skip this. And you want to go to the setup process of the device, uh, but this time around you want to do it fairly quickly. Um, skip everything that you can, it won't really matter what you choose right now because we still need to perform another reset of the device. So like I said, just skip as much as you can. And one thing that I can see right here, account added. So this is previously the, the screen that was telling us to verify our account. Now it's telling us that the account was added. And it's the account that I have added right before the reboot. Now also one thing that I'll mention, as you can see, the app that we have downloaded, the first one will now continue to crash. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, the app allowed us to add the Google account uh, that in turn allow us to log in. Uh, without that app, we wouldn't be able to do that. So it served its purpose and right now it's gonna keep crashing, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. Every time it pops out, just simply disregard it top somewhere where the pop-up isn't and it will just disappear.
Yeah. So once you're on the home screen, go into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, and then reset, factory data reset, and choose reset phone, erase everything, and this will now in turn basically unlock itself. So once the reset is finished, we will be then back in the setup screen with the difference of it then being fully unlocked and at that point you can set up your device as however you like. So I'll be back once the reset is finished. And as you can see now the process is finished so let's go to the setup once more. Now again I'm gonna skip through most of this uh, but like I said you can set it up as however you like. And Right off the bat you can see that you can skip the Wi-Fi connection by tapping on the setup offline, which wouldn't be normally possible if the device would still be locked, which it's not. And there we go. We're now finished with the bypass. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.